Hey everyone, Talara here, and welcome back to Dragonflight. When I left you guys, the, uh, the Shikar caravan was just leaving here, and I thought that if I logged out for the day and came back later, the caravan would be waiting for me. Uh, but apparently, <laughs> the caravan does not care about me as much as I care about them, because they are long gone. So I do have to apologize, because I don't think we're gonna hear the stories on the second leg of the caravan, unless... We can catch up with them up here. Uh, like I said, for some reason I thought the, the quest would pause on a logout, but that does not seem to be the case. So we are going to miss sort of the second leg of this journey, and I do apologize for that. But in positive news, we can go a little bit faster and just go ahead and meet them here at the second stop, because they, they do like to go nice and slow, as you guys know. I think I see them up ahead here. Yep, here's the gang. Hi guys, sorry I disappeared. I'm back now. Who has the wind brought today? Do your best. I sense something on the wind. Go with Onara's blessing. The wind is restless here, Tarala. Onara is reaching out. I must answer her call. I need reagents for my ritual. Seeds from the riverbanks, feathers from the tails of mallards, and the heart of a salamander. Gather these materials from the river so that I may heed her voice. Off to your next adventure. I love how we're on a caravan to go to this, like, big meeting of all the clans, and we're like, yeah, but we're gonna take a break to do a little ritual to the Wind God. <laughs> Gotta factor all that stuff into our, our travel time, but hey, no big deal. Luckily, we do not have to kill the ducks. We can just walk up to them and pluck one of their feathers. I mean, I don't think they particularly liked that, but I was sad before when we had to kill cute critters, so. I will take this compromise. I need to target something first. Pluck some feathers. Kill some salaman salamanthers. The TH. Rinse and repeat. And here's the river reeds as well. I require a target. Got you a target. I require a target. Do, 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 do. Just collecting reagents for a little ritual while we stop. While I'm uh, doing this, I just want to say also, please uh, let me know how you guys have been enjoying Dragonflight, both my series and just your own playthroughs of the expansion. I am absolutely loving it. This is the most fun I've had with WoW in a while. I'm so happy that I decided to come back to the game. Oh, <laughs> this Mallard is not very happy though. We're unfortunately gonna have to fight him. Uh, and I, I've really, really been enjoying experiencing this expansion through the lens of creating content. Uh, it's been really fun. Normally I do read all the quests and stuff, but actually reading everything out loud and kind of going even a bit more slowly than I normally would to, to make sure you guys are, are caught up on everything has really been fun. I've been very much enjoying making these episodes, so I just want to thank you guys so much for tuning in, and, and I hope you guys have been enjoying them as well. Clearly we are making our way very slowly through the expansion, but that's what I wanted to do. As I said at the very beginning, the whole goal of this was to just have sort of a chill, relaxing experience. For those of you who either A, just want to experience WoW more casually, have, you know, something to kind of watch in the background, or B, are experiencing WoW as a new player or someone who's interested but has never played, hopefully you can get a good sense of everything um, through watching. We just looted something and got an experimental substance. If you use it, you increase your Dragon Isle's alchemy knowledge by one. Sweet. We will definitely do that. Alright, I got your things, what Own. News do you bring, outsider? Own Aura's song is fleeting. We must work quickly. Do your best. Excellent. I will use these materials to interpret her song. Go with Onara's blessing. Onara does not speak in language as we do. Her voice carries through the very winds. We mystics are trained to feel her presence, follow her call, 
and interpret her messages. I've used the materials you gathered to bind totems to this particular call. Aid me in a ritual to center her voice, then I will interpret her song. Off to your next adventure. All right, let's get started. Do your best. Come, help me place these totems for the ritual. Oh, I need to place the totem, sorry. I was just standing there watching Own shoot some wind out of her hands. Didn't realize that I needed to do something. There we go. We're helping! The storm is an omen of grim portent. Trouble is brewing. The storm is Onara's most dire warning, an affront to her gift. We must be wary. Okay. What is she warning us about is what I want to know. Okir vocalizes as Sen Sakkan signs. Marukai rests besides a mountain over this grove. Our journey is almost over. The Kural is a time of truce amongst the Maruk. But own Seshteng's omen is troubling. We must stay on guard. Hmm, so do you think someone's gonna attack the Conclave? Maybe one of the clans has been uh, persuaded to join the Elementalists or something like that? I could see that happening. Either way, we're actually going to travel with the caravan now for the third and final leg of the journey. I'm on my stout riding Bakar, and now hopefully we can actually Marukai hear some stories. Is just ahead. It is a grand and sacred meeting place. Centaur from all around the plains gather there. Oh, caravan ran me over there a little bit. <laughs> Ouch. Each season we meet for the Corral. A time of truce and communion. Clans large and small come together, sharing our resources and our stories. I do look forward to reconnecting to my peers. Perhaps Tagari Khan can help me decipher this omen from the river. Love how I'm just literally underneath the caravan right now. <laughs> That's fine. We're really becoming one with the clan, you know? One with the caravan. <laughs> oh, a scout just yelled, the caravan from Timber Step Outpost approaches. The final con has arrived. All right, we're almost here. Scouts have I seen us. I am going to avoid the Nakud. They antagonize everyone at these things. There's the scout that must have seen us. We're climbing up the hill, slowly but surely, making our way. The rest of way. the Shikar should have already arrived from the other camps. Our rise should be well settled by the time we arrive. Cool. I don't mind being the last ones to the party. Fashionably late, if you will. Party can't start till we show up. I love how just everything is completely clipping through me and my Bakar mount. Alright, we just discovered Marukai on the map, so we clearly made it. It seems the other clans beat us here. Between our outsider and the Green Dragon Emissary, this should be a corral to remember.
Okay, I think I can walk on my own now. We're basically here. And I am excited to actually get in here. So let's run to the front of the caravan. <laughs> Pass all these slow pokes. Here we go. Oh yeah, lots of people are here already. Caravan's rolling up. And, uh, we'll chat with Sansaka. Welcome to Marukai. Alright, so now she's gonna give us a ton of quests. We've also just unlocked another major faction, the Maruks. So we can gain reputation among them now as well. As Sansa Khan signs, Okir vocalizes for her. Clan Tirai is the clan of Arcana Matra, our direct connection to the Maruk ancestors. They are the holders of our traditions and our storytellers. To understand the Maruk, you must understand Clan Tirai. One of the Kana Matra's daughters, Karin Dotur, is preparing a meal for our ancestors. Aid her, and she will teach you about our people. Okay, so we're gonna go around and meet all the, the clans now. The mystics of our lands, the Own Seshtang, belong to Clan Onir. The clan is not made up of families, but rather of centaur from across the plains with an innate connection to Onatra. They spend their lives building that connection and honing their skills. Eventually, they receive assignments to advise different clans and protect our lands. Own Seshtang went to speak with her Khan about the omen she received. Join her to learn about Onir. Finally, Clan Nokud. Clan Nokud is the newest to rise to power. Their late Khan, Jakan, raised a mighty army to seize territory from their predecessors, such as the way of our people. While Jakan had earned his, his respect, his son has not. Balakar killed his father and took control of the clan. They've grown ever more insular since, but to know the Maruk, you must know them. Oh dear. Okay, they don't sound particularly friendly, but we'll do it. Clan Nokud can be quite... Uh, aggressive. Tomul, accompany our friend to make their introductions. Yes, my Khan. First, I get stuck being your keeper. And now I have to introduce you to the Nakud. You're testing my limits, Two Foot. Oh, Tomol, you're just so friendly. So glad I have you as my introduction. Go play with your birds, Shikar. I am not here by choice. We should just get this over with. Man, this guy is huge. Wow. What? I have the great unpleasantness of introducing you to Bahir, one of Balakar Khan's thugs. You'll be back soon, sure. Time for me to depart. Enjoy your time with these thugs, Two Foot. Great. So, uh, nice to meet you. <laughs> Heard nothing but great well, things about you, Bahir. Ah, look at you, weak, just like those puny hunters that brought you here. You want to know the Nokud? We speak through battle. Our battle ritual is called the Tabar. We train, we spar, and it hardens us. Now there is no weakness in our clan. Enough talk. Go spar. Go. Prove you're not as weak as you look. Okay, fine. Goodness gracious. We just got here, and now they you want to battle. You bring that outsider here. You insult Onara, Balakar Khan. Step away from this path. The Nokud deserve the power of the storm. We will show the Maruk how far they have fallen. Oh man, they have paired up with the elementalists. Look at this. My Khan, this interloper has no place amongst your Nokud. We must cleanse ourselves of any weakness. Classic. I knew one of the clans was gonna fall for the elementalist BS. Their recruitment speech. The oh! You, Great. Yeah, this this is not going to be a problem. Well, be respectful. Let's do some sparring. I don't know what this is even going to do at this point. They're never going to trust me if I say I'm against the elementalists, but whatever. We'll do what they asked of us. Well then. Okay. 
Okay, just two more. Heal. Well then, let's spar. Perfect. Okay, so I don't know if that's going to make them listen to me or whatever, but these are the no -kood. Valakar Khan will lead the Nokud to victory. If you say so. I mean, I was only up there for a few minutes, but I wasn't exactly loving the vibe. <laughs> Tell you that for free. Okay, where do we have to go next? We need to go up here, I think. Karen Dotour. Good? Goodbye. Welcome, outsider. Honor the mother. Oh, this is a this is a different one, a different clan. Our ancestors walk beside us upon the winds of Onara, guiding and protecting us. All Maruk, dead and living, gather under truce at the Kural. The scent of this meal calls the ancestors to our fire. When they arrive, the Kural begins. Get some right. Two young Shikar delivered some game from your travels. Bring it here. Ah, okay. So this is this is different. That's fine, we'll help her out. Grab our materials from the wagon. Now we must season the meat. Grab some spice from our stools. Got it. Just a little errand gal. Apply jar of spices. <laughs> we literally oh, just tossed the whole jar more on. Spice than this. Get more. Really? The full jar wasn't enough? Alright, this time I'll get a basket. And, uh, try this again. <laughs> it tastes better, but I can still fill my tub. Bring over the biggest container of spice. Oh dear, I feel like if I tried to eat th this meat, I would just spontaneously combust. So that's how hot they like things. <laughs> Good to know. Well done. Now that's enough spice to bring Maruk and Tira to the fire! You have the honor of charring the roast. Do not remove it from the fire until it is past blackened. Blackened meat filled with hot spices. Yeah, I don't know if this meal is for me, but hey! I'm not a spiritual ancestor, so... Here we go, roasting. Roasting an offering of traditional spiced game to the Maruk ancestors, way past the char point. <laughs> Good. The scent is strong. It will be easily carried to our ancestors on the wind. Place it on the offering table. Got it. Ancestors, be welcome at Kural. Watch over us as we follow in your hoofprints. May Onara's winds carry this tribute to you so you may join us. Well, look at you. Our ancestors have risked much for our future. It is right to invite them to gather alongside us. May your arrow always fly true. All right, well, that was a much uh, nicer introduction than it was uh, <laughs> meeting some of the others. Glad we could help her out with that. Glad she let us help her out with clearly what is sort of a sacred rite. Now we're gonna go back to completing the quest for the other clan and return to Scout to Mole. Which is over here. Got my quest markers all mixed up. Out with it. Or her, sorry. 
The no could prefer brute strength and power over all else. We do not see eye to eye on many things. Finally. Yeah, I can uh, I can see that to be honest. All right, it's another clan uh, checked out, if you will. There's a bunch of other little quests around here as well that I want what to pick roads up. roads have you traveled? For example, Beastmaster Tyrion, who tends to the beasts of burden, has a quest Trust for us. Your eagle eye. There's been a primalist attack in the Shikar Highlands. If you have information or think you can help, head over to Pinewood Post and look for Olek. Tell him I sent you. Tyrion chuckles. I sure hope the Dusty Hoofer remembers me. Keep to the roads, Tarala. The plains are not as peaceful since all this change arrived. Good luck. Got it. Here we have random note. To the bravest Shikar, gather your best and head on over to the Fields of Ferocity. You could be crowned the fiercest, fiercest of them all. Prove your might. Show us your best fight. Terms and conditions apply. <laughs> and that is a group quest. Meet Gurthok at the Fields of Ferocity. Five suggested players. We need to see if we can make some friends if we want to do that one. <laughs> In the meantime, there's one more quest up on top of that hill, I think. Here's the flight path. And... Oh, there's our quest right there. It's a nice view you got here. Hunter Narman. How is your hunting? I've hunted with Khans, outrun our fastest Bakar, and wrestled a full-grown buffalo and bull bare-handed. As a hunter, I have nothing left to prove. However, as a partner, I still have much to learn. Windsage Dawa of Clan Onir is my heart and my joy. I wish only to provide worthy of his love. Only to prove worthy of his love. But I know nothing of traditions and rituals. I require the wisdom of the elders in Marukai. Get some rest. Okay, so what do you want me to do? You want me to go ask an elder. Okay, could do that, I guess. Kind of seems like maybe something you should do if you're the one who wants to get married. But you know what? I'm new here. I'll, uh, I'll try to help. <laughs> so we've got another quest right here as well. Back to Sansa Khan. The Marukas of people are not staunchly against outsiders, but we do require any potential allies to prove their worth. As you meet the clans and aid in our ventures, word will spread of your support. On the lower level of the Krutal on the hill, you will find one of the Kanam Matra's daughters, who can help you see where you stand with our people. Be sure to introduce our, yourself. Got it. So wait, I can go in inside this mountain, it looks like? Or is this a dungeon? Yeah, this is a dungeon. Okay, we were not supposed to go in here yet. <laughs> back out, and Good. I'm uh, you are here. sure we'll be back in here at some I point. I welcome Onara's rage. When the winds are still, I will suspect the worst. Okay, we had some dialogue playing even as we left. A little bit of a spoiler for whatever's going to go on in there, but anyway. For now, we're actually going up on top of the mountain. Aha! Here we go. Cool. How is your health? Get some Between rest. gossip amongst the clans at the Kural and news from my mother, the Kanamatra, I have a good sense of how my people feel. If you ever wish to know you're standing with the Maruk, come to me. Where are your members? I'm the quartermaster for the Maruk. If you prove useful to us, then maybe I can supply you with some of our goods. We'll see. Don't get any big ideas. <laughs> These are the renowned uh, uh, quartermasters, so... It's cool, we can sell some of our stuff, except not our fishing hat. I want that back. <laughs> see you soon. I look forward I look forward to seeing how you contribute to the Maruk. Trust your clan and none of Are you good? Clan Tarai are the proud protectors of tradition and good values. This meeting at Marukai is also our tradition. 
I need to ask you about Narman's proposal. A proposal? Nonsense. Tradition is very clear on this matter. Fetch some sweets for the matchmaker. A nice tart will do. There are many ceremonies to be done. All right. Thank you. May your arrow always there you go. Fight. Now we need to get a honey plum tart if I fr if our friend wants to get married. Key to love among the Maruk is in sweet honey plum tart. Wee! What an entrance. Hello. Let us trade. Do you sell? Honey plum turds? You sure do. Return when you have more to trade. Perfect. Guys, there's so many quests around here. Here we have Wild Sage Kven. Allow the spirits to Hail Outsider. The you. winds tell me of a group taking shelter in the ruins of Emberwatch. They seem only interested in the past, while we centaur choose to live for the present under the grace of Onora. Nevertheless, they are guests in our home. I have fashioned for them these wind chimes so they may hear Onora's presence. Bring it to their hearth for some joy and comfort. Where would the wind take you? Sounds like it's probably the Dragon Scale Expedition. If I had to guess based on that little blurb there. Here we have Wind Sage Dawa. The weather is turning. He's so tall. Oh, Tarala, do you feel comfort under the sun? Do you feel safe under its bright caress? Does each new day represent hope for the future and a chance to live your life as you've always dreamt it? Then you know love as I do. Narman of Clan Shikar is my son. He is my warmth. He is my light. He is my hope. A man like him deserves a proposal worthy of stature. We must seek guidance from an own. Oh, cool! <laughs> Stay sharp. So Dawa's- they're, they're both trying to propose to each other and they're both asking for my help. Interesting. All right, I'm fine to play uh, play a little matchmaker for you guys. Let's see what she will uh, recommend. It says she's right. Oh, there you are. <laughs> the weather is turning. Ask about Dawa's proposal. How wonderful! Tradition would suggest you fetch some sweets for family. Hearthkeeper Erd makes a fine pudding. Keep it concise. A short gesture is a strong gesture. Oh, well. All right, so this clan is into uh, into sweets for the proposal as well. Just they like puddings, whereas the other clan likes pies. <laughs> so we'll pick one of those up momentarily. First, we're gonna come here and pick up yet more quests. The cold front precedes the storm. The chill seeks into my bones. Who's saying that? We cannot stop the wind, Sashtang, nor reverse its course. We must be guided by it, even into tumult. Clearly the walls aren't very thick here. We just heard that whole conversation from outside. What news do you bring, outsider? Hi. It is good to be back. Excuse me. It is good to be back with my clan. Off to your next adventure. I shared with Tagari Khan the omen we received before entering Marukai. She expressed her concern as the wind felt cold to her as well. We cultivate certain flowers here, blooms that can be ground and burned to elicit a trance light effect. They are used to deepen our connection to an omen. I request that you collect some so that we may make an incense to burn. With my Khan's help, perhaps we can learn more of the Onara's plight. Do your best. Okay. Gather some sweet suckle incense. And first, I'm gonna go talk to Orvin, which is what I was trying to do Orvin. earlier. I received an interesting letter from Oniri Springs. As for the letter's contents, it details quite horrid imprisonment, controlling mentors, and extreme boredom. It is formally signed by Initiate Radia. There's also a sketch of an eagle kicking a centaur named Maloon off a cliff. Well, I suppose this is a call for help if you are so inclined to see for yourself. To be frank, I think Radia is probably okay. She sends me such letters often. Blessings to you. If you say so. I feel like I should definitely check in, but. I'll add it to my to-do list. We'll pick up some sweet suckle. Uh, so we need five sweet suckle blooms to grind into sweet suckle incense. That's two. Three. Four. Five. 
grind it all up. And we have the incense. Toss the incense into the incense burner. Let's see what we get. Uh -oh. Wind corrupted. The storm overwhelming. The sign of a betrayal. Yeah, I think I might be able to point you into the direction of a betrayal. No. Onara. It has to do with a clan who has teamed up with the elementalists. Tagari Khan is most well versed in reading omens. With her aid, we can learn more about this omen. Go with Onara's blessing. A betrayal threatens Onara herself. We must stand tall, Tarala. Now is a time for allies. A message from Sansa Khan. Oh, jeez, where did you come from? <laughs> Aru, you just appeared out of nowhere. While you wait for the emissary to arrive, Sansa Khan is interested to hear how meeting the clans went. She sent me to find you and tell you to meet her in the center of Marukai to discuss. May your prey fly low and run slow. Got it. Thanks for the message. Bye. <laughs> that was an efficient uh, messenger. He was in and out. Well, there you have it, folks. We finally made it here to Marukai. We've been able to meet all the various clans around the town. And clearly there's a trouble of Bruin. So while we are still waiting for the Emerald Dragonflight Emissary to report in, uh, we've been keeping ourselves busy. And we're going to go speak to San Sok Khan while we continue to wait. That's it for today's episode, however. So hopefully I will see you guys back here again real soon as we continue our adventures here in Marukai.